Oh, and this is Simone again, part two with our crazy uh, remodelation of the toilet. So this now is the cover of my water tank of the toilet. Part two will stay with the same uh, colors. Uh, Fandango prism pool. Then we have a mix of olive green and phalo green Amsterdam. Then we have a mix of iridescent blue green by Pebeo with a little bit of leftover uh, golden fluid in teal. Then this is a mix of three pigments from Color Art Sweet Tooth, Chalcedony, and Fairy Wings. So you don't really see it in the bottle. I don't know. Can you camera pick that up? It's really beautiful and shiny. Uh, follow that up with um, Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. Beautiful color. And last but not least is our 24K Gold by Decord Americano. All right, let's get going. My base coat's already on. And I think I'll just make a simple little design. You know, it's not very big. There's not too much space. The last time my light green didn't show. That's why I'm loading it up a little bit stronger this time. Olive green, oops. Didn't go too well, but it'll be fine in the end. Just try to fill this little gap I created by going wrong with my olive green. Make sure we don't blow too much white up when we go over it. Yep. Again, I try to be a little bit less strong on the blue violet, permanent blue violet by Amsterdam as it takes over easily. And the same is true for our shimmery 24K gold also there. Just a thinner line. We're missing a little bit here. There we go. Let's torch that real quick. paint again and that too isn't flat <laughs> hey -ho, let's get it done I'm gonna start somewhere in the middle it's always easier I find to start in the middle to blow out and then come to the end
actually just a tiny space it's a little bit more difficult with it being so tiny than if the space is big but I would trust a little straw surely can help do some fine tunings and adjustments Okay, that's pretty. It's going to look pretty together with the other, with the other piece I did. So, I like it all. This is a little bit too busy for my liking, so let me just clean up my hands and see what we can do with this little corner. At all, I want to have a little white in here. That looks better now here. We still have a little bit of green that we don't really want there. So I'll just pick that up with my finger and then we can fill it in with a little dollop of our white. Okay. Okay, so now I have to decide if I leave it like that or if I'll run some lines through. I might run some lines through just to make it more befitting to the other piece. Let's see, we'll take that as our focus point 
obviously here later on the pusher comes back in so Kind of cute, I find. Okay. Beautiful, just beautiful. Love it. Okay, now I bring my dotting tool as the last step and pull some little tips of the flowers out. Again, every time you stick your tool in it afterwards, you have to clean it. If not, you bring all of that dirty paint straight into your beautiful artwork, which is not so good. ready yeah beautiful that's it I'm done with this I really really like it let me see I hope you like it too. I hope you enjoy my videos. If so, please uh, subscribe to my channel, like, comment. Uh, if you have any problems with this technique, want to know a little bit more about it, feel free to ask any question you like. All right. I'll give you a close-up in a little video. See you soon. Bye.